In this section, we'll look at the events of November 22, 1963, the day of John F. Kennedy's assassination. In the fall of 1963, Kennedy hadn't formally announced his candidacy for re-election in the 1964 election, but it was clear he was going to run again. Indeed, he'd started a, a two-day, five-city tour of electorally significant Texas. He knew that there was a feud in the Democratic Party in Texas that might hurt his campaign in the state, and he also knew there was a growing right-wing reactionism, especially in Dallas, where a month before Adelaide Stevenson had been physically assaulted. Anyway, on Thursday, November 21st, he flew from San Antonio to Fort Worth, where he stayed at a hotel in downtown. And when he woke on Friday, November 22nd, he gave a short speech at a, on a uh, platform outside his hotel. And then he and Jackie went to a breakfast uh, held with the uh, Fort Worth Chamber of Commerce. That morning, a uh, advertisement had appeared in the Mo Dallas Morning News, placed by a group called the American Fact Finding Committee. It was actually a front for some uh, John Birch Society members, and it harshly criticized Kennedy and was indicative of some of the uh, right wing opinion that had uh, flourished in Dallas. After the Chamber of Commerce breakfast, they went to Carswell Air Force Base for the 13-minute trip to Love Field in Dallas. Upon debarking from uh, Air Force One, they, uh, they immediately received a bouquet of roses and they walked uh, to the uh, fence to meet uh, nearby admirers. The rain had stopped and it was a beautiful day and so the president decided to uh, leave off the plastic bubble that went over his convertible. As the procession left Love Field, JFK and Jackie were in the back seat with the Texas Governor John Connolly and his wife Nellie in the row directly in front of them. The, profession, the procession uh, left the airport and, and sort of followed a winding route through downtown Dallas on the way to the Trade Mart, where JFK was scheduled to speak at a luncheon. The route was planned to give him maximum exposure to the crowds along the way, and the plan route uh, was actually made public beforehand. The motorcade turned off Main Street at Dealey Plaza. They took Main Street because that was the traditional parade route and would allow for maximum exposure. The Main Street route, however, precluded a direct uh, access to the highway, so the motorcade had to make sort of a, a right turn first and then a left turn onto Elm at Dealey Plaza. And as they were uh, turning onto Dealey Plaza, Nellie Connolly uh, said to the president, uh, Mr. President, you can't say Dallas doesn't love you, speaking of all the cheering crowds. Kennedy replied, no, you certainly can't, which uh, turned out to be his, his last words. As the motorcade turned left onto Elm, it passed in front of the Texas School Book Depository. What happened next was partially caught on film by a man named Abraham Zapruder, who was uh, filming it. It was partial because the motorcade went behind a sign temporarily blocking Zapruder's view. Zap the, the Zapruder film became famous and was used in the investigation of the murder that followed. The first shot went through JFK's neck, which caused his hands to go up. The uh, bullet, the uh, subsequent investigation determined, uh, ricocheted and went through Connolly's back and lodged in his thigh. It was approximately 12.30 p.m. The second bullet hit Kennedy in the back of the head, sending brain and skull fragments flying. Mrs. Kennedy yelled, They've killed my husband! as the car sped up and the uh, Secret Service agents went to jump on top. It was uh, shocking. Everybody wasn't sure what was going on. The car began to speed up. Jackie Kennedy yelled, Oh my God, they've killed my husband. She knew right off the bat. In this picture, you can see the Secret Service agent rushing up to jump on top of the Kennedy. You can also see people diving in the background to avoid the shots. The police immediately figured a bullet might have come from a Texas book depository and they sealed off the building. As they were going upstairs with the cops, the, uh, they saw Lee Harvey Oswald in the, uh, the wreck, the break room, and they asked if, if he worked there and he said they did and so they, uh, he did and, and so they kept going up. They found the uh, rifle uh, on the sixth floor but they uh, have subsequently found that Lee Harvey Oswald wasn't to be found, he had left 
and so they put out an all points bulletin on him. A Dallas police officer, J.D. Tippett, heard the uh, all points bulletin and recognized him in Oak Cliff in South Dallas, and he approached him, wherein uh, Oswald shot him four times. There were several witnesses of this, and Oswald ran and ended up trying to hide in the uh, Texas theater. The theater people called the police, and the police caught him there. Uh, they they tried to he tried to resist, but they were able to disarm him. Oswald had just turned 24. He was a former Marine a sniper who had defected to the Soviet Union in 1959, married a Russian wife named Marina, and had a child, but then become disillusioned and returned to the United States. Uh, he went from job to job and ended up advocating for a pro-Cuba Castro group in New Orleans handing out literature, and he even tried to kill an outspoken anti-communist U.S. General Edwin Walker. The uh, police had no suspects until they uh, tied him to the attempt, uh, the murder attempt after JFK's death. He got the gun he used to kill Kennedy from a mail order catalog. After the shooting, the Kennedy uh, motorcade sped to Parkland Hospital in Dallas. At Parkland, the trauma physicians quickly realized that Kennedy was mortibund. There was some question of whether he was alive, whether he had a heartbeat, or whether, as the New York Times reported, he was already dead when he arrived. But either way, he had no chance of survival, the doctors realized. After, at 1 p.m., uh, after a Catholic chaplain had, had administered the last rites, Kennedy was pronounced dead. There was a bit of dispute because Texas law required uh, the investigation and, and analysis by the Texas coroner but uh, the federal officials simply overruled them and took the body back to Washington where there was an autopsy at Bethesda Naval Hospital that night. Uh, Jackie wanted it done at Bethesda Naval Hospital because JFK had been a, a naval officer. The news stunned, stunned the nation. People were glued to the TV. Schools let out early and uh, there were angry taunts at people from Texas and Dallas. People openly wept. There was a uh, most people learned of the news from uh, the Walter Conkite newscast. Who Walter Conkite was uh, obviously emotionally upset and could barely hold it together, announcing that Kennedy had been pronounced dead at, at 1 p.m. Johnson was at Parkland Hospital when he learned of Kennedy's death, and thus they called a local magistrate and had her meet them at uh, Air Force One at Love Field. Johnson uh, took the oath of office at 2.38 p.m. on November 22, 1963, aboard Air Force One. You can see in this picture with his wife, Lady Bird, to his right, and also Jackie Kennedy, who uh, refused to take off her blood-stained pink dress standing to his left. The uh, body was brought back to uh, Washington aboard that plane. It was put through the rear of the plane. They removed some seats, and the plane then took off. That concludes the events of uh, this section on the events of November 22, 1963.